What is mixed mania? That's what I'm going to talk about today. I'm Dr. Tracy Marks, a psychiatrist, and I publish weekly videos on mental health education and self-improvement. If you don't want to miss an episode, click subscribe and notifications. Today's topic is based on a viewer question from Princess Consuela, who happens to look a whole lot like Angelina Jolie. And I'm going to read her question. As a teenager, I struggle most with mixed episodes, which to me are actually more painful than mania. Mania to me is just pure anger. Depression is the best because it's just sadness and your thoughts are slow and really calm, like you're a part of an ocean. I know they are dark, but they are really the best part of it all. In short, being a teenager with bipolar has ruined my future and most importantly, me. Thank you, Princess Consuela, for that question. It made me sad to read her comment that bipolar disorder has ruined her future. And my response to her on that issue was to keep in mind that depression distorts your outlook on life. Things, everything looks hopeless. And you just can't get out of that thinking on your own. And when you're in that state, you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel, but there is an end to the tunnel. And that's what I'm gonna talk about now. The official term for mixed mania is bipolar disorder, either one or two with mixed features. With bipolar one disorder, you have episodes of depression and episodes of mania. With bipolar two, you have depression and hypomania. I'll have a link to my bipolar playlist um, where, where I talk more about the difference between mania and hypomania. Mixed features means that you have a combination of depression symptoms and manic or hypomanic symptoms occurring at the same time. So you may be, have a depressed mood with lots of crying spells, but then yet your mind is racing and you're extremely aggravated. You may be making impulsive decisions or having trouble getting motivated to get out of the bed in the mornings. So it's like you're a hyped up, sad, negative person and it can feel extremely uncomfortable. Bipolar disorder with mixed features is harder to treat than pure bipolar disorder alone. And the same is true for depression with anxious distress or anxious features. And that's a topic for another day. Some of the recommended treatments for mixed mania is lithium, Seroquel or quetiapine and Latuda. Lithium is particularly good for aggression and suicidal thinking, but it's not that easy to take lithium because it has a very narrow therapeutic window. This means you have to check blood levels and make sure the concentration is within a certain range. If you're below that range, it's not gonna be effective. And if you're above that range, you can experience toxicity and see things like confusion and tremor. Seroquel can be very sedating, which is good if you're having trouble sleeping, but can also cause a lot of weight gain. Latuda is a newer agent, so you may have trouble getting it covered by your insurance. Also, it hasn't been around uh, long enough or as, or as long as the others to have as many studies showing its effectiveness as lithium and Seroquel. Now, I realize you can't prescribe these things for yourself, so this is just information for you to talk to your doctor about but be prepared because with uh, bipolar with mixed features is harder to treat so there's a good chance that you may have to take more than one medication at the same time generally antidepressants are discouraged for mixed mania if you still don't do well with two medication trials lasting at least four weeks each then there's electroconvulsive therapy or ECT and transcranial magnetic stimulation or TMS. And these are non-medication options that work well for people who can't take medications or don't respond to, well to medication. So here's a little bit about ECT and TMS. ECT is still the gold standard for difficult to treat conditions. And some people call it shock therapy. ECT is a procedure that works by provoking a seizure under very controlled conditions. So you're under anesthesia and you hardly move around, but the monitors will still show seizure activity. Exciting the brain this way treats conditions such as depression, mania, and psychosis. 
you usually get a series of treatments like three times a week until your symptoms resolve. And this is customized for the individual, but an average may be 10 to 12 treatments. Then you may follow up with maintenance treatments um, that occur less frequently. TMS uses magnetic stimulation similar to the technology of an MRI machine to stimulate your brain. And those sessions tend to be five days a week for about six weeks. TMS is only approved, FDA approved though for treatment resistant depression. Both of these procedures can be done on an outpatient basis so you don't need to be in the hospital. But ECT is done under general an anesthesia whereas TMS is not. ECT is still more effective though uh, than TMS. These treatments are heavy duty and they require a big time commitment, but they are very effective. And don't forget about therapy. The best approach to treatment is if you have the resources is to do a combination of medication and cognitive behavior therapy or interpersonal therapy. That's mixed mania. Uh, or bipolar disorder with mixed features. It's tough, but there are things that you can do to help. ECT and shock therapy is still alive and well and very effective if all else fails. That's it. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time.